Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity. Let us explore uh, important operations uh, on collections. This is one of the most important uh, video of the course because uh, we, we have to work with collections a lot when it comes to uh, Spark and uh, having knowledge of uh, collections will help building uh, Spark related uh, uh, concepts quickly. And also at times uh, on top of Spark APIs we need to use Scala collection APIs also to, uh, to implement complex functionalities. And that being said, uh, this is purely a demo. We will be creating a case class for order. Uh, so you can copy paste this one. I hope you can recollect what is a case class. Case class. Uh, so to get the details, you can use this Java P command and uh, check on order as well as order dollar. So case class, when it comes to case class, first thing it, to be, it should click to your mind is that it is a serializable class with a companion object. And the companion object have an important method called apply. Okay, so this thing, you should get it immediately when, when I say case class. Case class uh, uh, is serializable and it also have companion object with apply method. On top of that, it implement product. It will have getters for each of the uh, class variables. So whatever uh, 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 variables you pass for case class, uh, by default they are immutable or of type val uh, 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 class variables. As they are immutable and of type val, uh, there will be getter methods for each of the uh, 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 each of the class variables in this case order id order date order customer id and order status you can see the uh, getter methods here on top of it there are copy functions product functions etc so once we create the case class once you have the case class you can um, uh, create object like this you just say order and it has four parameters first one is of type integer let's say one and then second one is order date let's, which is of type string and that is this one and then customer id which is again integer and then order status let us say it is complete so this is how you can create a order object now you can see um, an uh, order object is created let us assign to a variable in this case val o equal to this one so this is one object now we can use this case class uh, as part of any collection it could be array of this order it could be list of this order it could be set of this order as we are talking about uh, sequence collections we will focus on array or list at this time and most of these concepts which i am covering now can be used elsewhere in um, many other areas including set including uh, spark rdds etc when we talk about spark so to create list you just have to define variable and give the variable name and then say list and then just create objects one after the other and it will create a list and the variable name is os in this case so already i have around 13 objects as part of the gist code you just copy paste it and now you can see that there are uh, OS is a collection of 13 elements that you can confirm by saying OS dot size it is of 13 uh, it has 13 and if you say OS it will give the data type and also the elements in it you can see it is of type list and each element in that list is of type order and now if I say OS dot and hit tab you will see bunch of these functions so as we have seen earlier when we started with collections they, those can be categorized into map functions um, reduce or aggregate functions and uh, subdivisions etc so we'll see operations in each of those areas um, in that process we'll learn uh, several apis okay so when it comes to map functions we have map we have flat map we have filter uh, forget about flat map for this time we will just focus on map and filter if you want to filter out um, data that is uh, uh, which you, you are not interested in you can use filter and filter takes function as parameter 
ओके अगेन इफ यू गो टू हायर ऑर्डर फंक्शंस एंड एनोनिमस फंक्शंस टॉपिक्स एज पार्ट ऑफ द एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस कोर्स यू विल सी द डिटेल्स अबाउट दोस थिंग्स सो दिस इज द दिस इज द लिंक हायर ऑर्डर एंड एनोनिमस फंक्शंस एंड आई हैव कवर्ड क्वाइट अ बिट अबाउट हाउ फंक्शंस कैन बी डिफाइंड एज पैरामीटर्स टू अ हायर ऑर्डर फंक्शन एंड हाउ इट कैन बी इनवोक्ड आई हैव covered that quite extensively so this is another example for that and here i am using anonymous function notation uh, so here uh, x is variable name and uh, x dot order status equal to complete uh, will give uh, boolean so to get the specification of it you just say os filter and hit tab again and you can see the parameter is of type function where the uh, it takes one parameter of type order so the function uh, p which is placeholder in this case takes one parameter which is of type order and then it returns boolean as long as you define the functionality which returns boolean you are good to go and order is nothing but a higher level object which which which, uh, which is similar to one element so in this case if you go to os again and hit enter there are 13 elements uh so here uh so this order is this one so in this case this filter function takes the um uh, takes a function as parameter which has one parameter of type order and returns the boolean okay and uh, if if it is true the record will be considered if it is false the record will be ignored the considered record will be assigned to the collection which is list in this case and each element of that list is of type order again okay so os is of type list with each element as order and the output is also of type list with each element is order but the output will only have the collection uh, uh, where the condition returns true in this case if i want to uh, check for completed orders the output will have only the completed orders so let us try that so let us say uh orders completed equal to os dot filter okay it takes the function here i am giving anonymous uh, functionality for that anonymous uh, functionality in the form of anonymous function and uh, uh, that takes order as input so x is of type order and here it has four attributes one of them is order status and we are interested interested in that order status and then double equal to complete okay and then uh, tab and uh, uh, sorry and close the bracket and hit enter now you see you only get completed orders and you can say orders completed dot size which are which is 5 now so eight eight records are discarded so this is how you can actually invoke filter function so what is happening behind the scenes so behind the scenes it is going through the collection uh, the way you typically uh, uh, you typically do so in case of java let's say orders is of type collection you will write for loop like this right for order orders and then you open the bracket uh, let me use this one for order orders and before that you will create a collection val uh, orders completed equal to uh, probably an empty collection uh, something like this and then you will say if order dot order status dot equals complete then you will say orders completed of zero or of one whatever it is you will be incrementing and will be assigning it and finally orders completed will be a list 
which will have completed or the others will be discarded so the same functionality we are writing something like this filter is the function which which will take each element uh, in a loop and uh, apply this expression which returns boolean if it returns true that will be collected in a new collection uh, otherwise it will be discarded and finally orders completed with have will have that new collection which have only the completed orders now if you want to change uh, the behavior of one of the um, uh, class variables and create a new order so here we are trying to transform the record into some other record in this case let's look at os it has date in the form of yyy-mm-dd let us say i just want to have the date i don't want anything else and that too date should have should be in yyy-mm-dd and the data type should be integer okay so if you want to apply that functionality you can say os dot map and here again we can use the anonymous function um, uh, functionality again if you want to see the um, uh, see the specification of the function map this also takes um, anonymous function as parameter okay and here it says um, order uh, is the type of the parameter which will be passed to that anonymous function and the return type has to be b what is this b this b is nothing but whatever will be returned uh, it's just a placeholder okay uh, so now i am saying x is the parameter name and then um, uh, imply and i want to get order date which is of type string in which i want to replace hyphen with empty string okay and hit enter now you see each element uh, is in the form of yyy mmdd and the data type is string but um, my requirement is to convert it into integer this can be represented as integer also so in that case i just have to say dot to int these are typecast functions which you need to be aware of for each of the value classes or primitive types you have two and the uh, class name like two int two float two double etc which can be used to typecast and hit enter now you can see the list is of type integer um, and you can see the elements on top of these things so we have seen filter we have seen map function if you want to add if you want to minimum uh, if you want to get the minimum from the collection if you want to get the maximum value from the collection in that case you need to either use reduce or float okay so for this purpose um, i am using the range which is nothing but a collection okay and then filter to get all the even numbers and then using the reduce function so let us see what this will return first okay 1 to 100 will return 1 to 100 and uh, you can see it returned even uh, vector of all the even values and it is of type indexed sequence and each element is of type integer now you can actually say reduce and if you hit tab you will get the specification of it it takes two parameters uh, for the function and it, it, it returns um, uh, the uh, the value of the same type after evaluating the expression so in this case when it say reduce you can actually define two variables in this case like total comma element and then you say total plus element and hit enter you got the total of the uh, even numbers so if you want to again project it in the uh, traditional way of coding it it is like this so typically if you want to get the sum what you will do you will say val total equal to zero okay and then for uh, e let's take the example of scala itself 
if you want to write it in traditional way a traditional approach you say to, val total equal to 0 for e and you can uh, actually say 1 200 by 2 or 2 200 by 2 okay and then you will say total plus equal to e I think I have to say total equal to total plus e sorry okay okay earlier i i have declared total as val it should be val and uh, i can actually say this one by 2 uh, starting from 2 to 100 uh, i increment by 2 and then uh, i have added to total and now if i say total i will get the uh, sum of even numbers so this is what is happening with reduce so when I actually declare the reduce function here uh, so this total is like this one so the first parameter is a totaler or aggregator a, where uh, the the sum will be reassigned to this one okay so on the right side you will get one element at a time in each iteration and uh, that will be added or whatever functionality you have given here that will be applied uh, in this case it will be added to the total and the aggregator will be finally returned so that is how reduce function will work okay so that being said we have few more important operations such as sorting grouping etc and i will be covering in a separate video um, thank you bye